Apple's Facebook page no longer has the blue verification tick mark. What more bizarre could 2020 have finally shown us as it approaches the final countdown? Facebook removes Apple's blue tick page verification as the feud between the tech giants over upcoming iPhone privacy changes continues to escalate. So let's get started and make sure to like comment and subscribe to this channel. Ring the notification bell icon too, so you get the notification every time we release a new video. The New Year's Eve isn't going to be a happy one for Apple which has now been stripped of its verification badge, the blue tick next to its name on Facebook. This step comes to intensify the dispute between the two technology giants, which has not yet been resolved and Apple still does not issue any statements about what happened to strip it of its authentication mark. The move comes in light of both tech being giants engaged in a public row over using consumer data for advertising. It is unclear exactly when Facebook decided to delete Apple's blue tick. On Facebook, almost all big brands and organizations are given a blue tick on their official social media pages to symbolize their authenticity. Earlier this year, Apple announced that it plans to ask users if they want their data to be shared in targeted advertising, tailored to you. The move is likely to hurt Facebook, which has warned it could have the revenue from its ad program by half. Apple responded several days ago to Facebook's criticism of the upcoming changes in privacy and said it is for the sake of users, as Facebook declared war on the company before updating iOS, which would require users to grant permission to apps to collect data about them. Apple believes it is taking a stand for its users whereas Facebook is a staunch proponent of the small businesses, which rely on targeted advertisement to boost sales, revenue, and generate leads. Facebook executives have made it clear that their intention is to gather as a lot of knowledge as doable about each proprietary and third-party merchandise with the intention to develop and monetize detailed profiles of their customers, and this disregard for consumer privateness. Ever bigger and consists of extra of their merchandise. Apple mentioned. Apple says it has been working to guard customers' privateness on the internet by limiting monitoring between websites since 2003, and this is step one in assembly the problem of monitoring in apps out there by means of iOS. According to what was reported by the Burge, Apple said in its statement in response to the criticism, we believe that this is a simple matter to defend our users. Users should know when their data is collected and shared across other applications and websites, and they should have the option to allow it or no. But Facebook was not convinced and used a full-page advertisement to criticize Apple's upcoming policy that would give iPhone and iPad users a choice about whether advertisers can track them. Facebook claims in its announcement that it is standing up to Apple on behalf of small businesses or everywhere. It seems like the Apple executives and employees are waiting for the alarm bells to ring. Or have they snoozed it? There has been no response from Apple yet. But if things take a turn for the worse, we might be seeing a bitter ending to 2020. Are iOS users going to have access to the Facebook app on their phones? This remains the big question. It's not just the Facebook app. Its allies Instagram and WhatsApp can be under threat too if this tech war between the giants gets out of control. Facebook also owns Instagram and Apple's Instagram account still seems to sustain the blue verification tick. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then make sure you subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon too so you don't miss a single video handpicked by our expert editors. Have a good day.